All right, let's get into the Weekly Watch Report where we talk about the things we watch this week. Weekly Watch Report on Monday. 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 So we all finished Presumed Innocent. Yeah. But now it's like a while. Like we finished it a week ago. Yeah. Um, I'll give it a solid A. Yeah. I thought, you know, spoiler, if you didn't watch, we're going to talk about the ending. Spoiler alert. Spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. Spoiler alert. Um, I thought it was really good. I thought, listen, I never, I'm not good at guessing these types of shows ever. Like, I really am actually very bad at it. For some reason, I guessed this one correctly. But that's why I'm so bad at things, because I usually guess the person that's like not. Right, right suspected not even at an all op- yeah, like not even, even an, option an option because i'm like ooh, that would be crazy yeah and for some reason this one turned out to be that joe and i went through like all the movie before we watched the last episode i was like oh i mean because they tr- they they lead you in all the different directions yeah. which is fascinating but i was like oh this has got this has got Malta written all over it. You yeah, know? it's got Tommy Malta. And then honestly, on it. I was thinking the son, not her son, his son. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it was just there was a lot of options, and that was not the one I thought. But I still, I thought the ending was still so good of like, because it was like, despite him not doing it, he still, he still was involved, covered it up, you know? Yeah. So it was like all of his, I mean, Jake Gyllenhaal just did such a fantastic job. He was job. so good. Like his closing arguments and everything, like it was so good. And then I came back around at the end too of thinking, well, maybe, like I was like, well, maybe it was just him and we're just going to see like how fucking convincing he is because he's doing such a good job and he's going to get off and then like it is going to be him. And then I thought in the garage, I thought, oh my God, he's, I thought he was going to kill her. I thought he was going to kill his wife. I thought that was going to be the whole thing. It was going to be like, he, I, I mean, nine million scenarios ran through my head mm-hmm. in that moment, but I was like, oh my God, he's going to, he's going to kill her. And then it's going to be like, he did all of them. And right. He's like just a, psycho. he's just a murderer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I had that thought, but I, I was like, there's no way because the undoing was that. Right. Like, right. Yeah. No, I know, Spoiler, and then everybody was the like, undoing, everyone was like, it's not the same as the undoing. And, um, like, for the undoing, I'm just like, which turned out to be a great show, because when someone is so obviously the murderer, you think it can't possibly be them, yeah, but yeah. then it just was him. Yeah. It just would have been too alike. It would have been right. like, okay, cheating, uh, kills the mistress. Yeah. Boom, same thing, it gets put on trial. Oh, it's him. Would have been the same exact thing. So I was like, there's no way this is going to be the same thing. But I thought it was incredible. Yeah, for some reason, I was just like, oh, it's the daughter. But like, I was completely kidding. Like, I really, yeah. like, I was just like, all right, I'm going well, to throw truly, out the I daughter. Mean, it's smart to think that way because she was, like, one of the... She was and there were very really su- suspicious. There were very <laughs> subtle moments to it, of course. And, like, you can go back to her mentioning, like, the disassociation thing and, like, all these things that, like, I'm sure if you watch it back, you'll pick up on more on more cues. But it did feel like they were leading us in every other direction than hers yeah and it seemed like they were trying to make everyone think it was tommy malto which then yeah. i thought would have been too obvious as well because he's yeah. so against jake gyllenhaal um but i thought it was really good i'll give that an a i started watching lady in the lake with natalie portman and moses ingram um two episodes in i think it's gonna get i think it's gonna get really good but i'm only two episodes in so I'll give it I'll give it a B for right now. Okay. But I can I was really interested, but I only watched two episodes because I fell asleep after that. Um what else did I watch? I re rewatched Love Island. <laughs> Which I know sounds sad, but I'm doing it for good reason because the reunion's coming up and we might have some people in here. Um what else did I watch? I think that's it. Like I'm sure if I yeah, I mean it'll look like Olympics or all, like yeah, there's so many there's so much like I've watched. Happening. I'm I, I'm mostly watching the Olympics like mm. every day. So <laughs> yeah, I think that's it for right yeah. now. Um, I will give Presumed Innocent an A as well. I thought it was really really good. Um, I finally watched the last episode of The Bear, <laughs> um, <laughs> which I don't know why it was, and I I thought it was the last two episodes Joe and I hadn't watched, mm-hmm. and. 
we played, started playing nine and we were like, oh, we watched this one. And then we just started laughing. We were like, damn, we really just, just didn't forgot. watch 10. We yeah. just didn't watch 10. Um, I will give the last episode like a B minus, you know, where it, where it's still good, but I feel like coming off of watching other stuff, I was like, Meh, it's just not doing it for me right now. You're this good. I'm episode. looking for you to be great. Yeah, 100%. Exactly. Abby Lee Miller. Um, I've been watching, <laughs> still watching Love Island UK. I think I'm on episode 51 or two. It is really hysterical how much they longer so they go. so many more episodes. Um, and... So I guess, I mean, this is no spoiler. I actually don't, I'm pretty sure it's over. I don't yeah, even know it, who won. It is. I got spoiled. Oh, you did? Yeah. Somehow I haven't been spoiled. I'm I shocked. Did. Now that I'm talking about it, my phone's sitting right yeah. next to me. It'll get spoiled for mm -hmm. me for sure. I mean, I've seen like clips of people out of the villa, like doing interviews, but I haven't like seen like the full blown results. Um, I, I'm like, I'm over the, we're in this point where if you're watching, you'll get it. If not, like, I guess, spoiler, if you're catching up, I'm over the, like, Mimi and Io, like, are they going to, there's like, move on. Like, he, mm. I just, Mimi is too cool, too awesome, too great of a girl to, like, entertain Io after the shit he pulled at Casa. Like, no, 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 no. Do not go back to him. And unfortunately, Joey Essex, Joey Essex, I think, just ruined this season. Like, he's doing interviews being like, oh, you know, like, I, I hit my mark. Like, I did my scene. Yeah, I saw and then, that. Like, he's I, like, like, it's reality TV. He's like, it's reality TV. Like, he was like, I think it really matters to these other people. But, like, to me, like, I can I can say my thought and, like, stir the pot and then walk away and be totally fine because, like, I'm just faking it. Basically, it felt like that's what he was saying. And I was like, okay, well, that just kills Love Island. That's not the point. Like, it just... Love Island thrives off these being like normal people and their visceral emotional reactions. And once you start throwing one reality TV person in there, like for Love Island games, blah, 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 other things, all stars, it's all people that have been on reality TV before. So it's like, I get it. That's going to be different. But just throwing one in where it's like, and people are saying he was just a produ like a producer plant because the producers would be like, hey, Joey, we need you to do this. He'd be like, sure, like because he just thinks he's like on, you know, he's just mm -hmm. on TV. He's just going through the motions. So, unfortunately, I think that was the downfall of this season. Mm -hmm. um, they should not do that again. And I'll give that, I'll give these episodes like a, a B minus as well. And did I watch anything else? Oh, because now we finished Presumed, in Presumed Innocent. I'm doing... Where I know that the finale was last night, so I really tried to stay off Twitter. But House of the Dragon, episode one. Watched it. I heard the season is I, fucking awful. It's bad and I'm I was, I'm still gonna watch it, but I and it does it is unfortunate that all I hear is people saying it's not good. I will be watching it. I liked the first episode, episode one. I'll give it a uh I'll give it a B, I'll give that probably a B minus as well. The reaction to what I saw last night, I won't be watching this season. Like, yeah. I, it was a it was, all around yeah. bad reaction. So let me tell you something. When I see people like react like that, sometimes it makes me want to watch it more because I'm like, well, I just don't want to jump on the bandwagon of like, it was so bad without having even seen yeah, it. Yeah, my thing is just like, I haven't seen people shitting on it that much the whole season. Like I've just yeah, been, like, but I just said the boring. finale was it's apparently more just the, like, it's more just the not, worst finale ever. Oh. It's, for someone who didn't start the second season, it's just not making me want to start. No, it. No, so no, it I'm doesn't like, at all. I'm not like it doesn't at all. Oh, it's so I'm not saying it's so bad. I didn't see it, so I don't know. But I'm not like oh, I'm gonna sit down and watch yeah. this. Like yeah, I'm also not invested in, in it at all. Like I don't like I literally only watch when there's a dragon on the screen. Like, but I'm, I don't know what's I've going on. I've seen that kind but of. But that's because it's so boring. That's what I've seen people say. Like, it's really not that interesting. Yeah. I yeah. don't know. I don't know. No, I, I mean, I, I opened Twitter for like two seconds and was like, oh, no. Now, I, like, I saw some of the reactions. I was like, oh, I shouldn't even be looking because I do want to watch it. But, like, I did see some people being like, mm -hmm. holy fuck. Like, that was, I thought that was, like, that was the finale. Yeah. So, seems like people were not super pleased by that. Um, In the world of dragons, though, not to like bring literature into the mix, but I've been reading Fourth Wing. So good. Mm. So good. Is this your good. first time? 
Yeah, I haven't read it. I feel like I'm shocked. It's right up my alley, and people have been just telling me to read it. I just haven't read it. For years now, I feel I like know. people have been talking about it. I know. I haven't done that. And I was like, oh, I should really probably read it. I finished all the Akatar books. I did mm-hmm. that. Um, my sister's been reading like the Throne of Glass series, so I wanted to do that as well. Um, but I was like, you know, I'll do Fourth Wing first because it's just Fourth Wing and um, Iron Flame, I believe, mm-hmm. is the second one. And the Throne of Glass is like nine books or yeah. something. So I was like, that's a that's a massive undertaking. Mm-hmm. Um, but I like haven't been able to put it down. Really? So good. I'm shocked that you just started it now. I know. And honestly, somebody, it took me a while and I got, I like understood the hype. I knew people were excited and I knew people loved it. And I saw everybody being like, it was so good. I was like, I'll read it eventually. But you know what got me is one girl in my DMs when I posted like that I had Fourth Wing locked and loaded in my kindle that was gonna be my next book up somebody was like fran oh my god it's literally just like older hogwarts with dragons mm. and i was like oh you got me that's how you they sold me that's how they sold you, you sold it. me yeah mature like because they're older they're right. not you know they're not starting hogwarts at 11 like they're older mm. so i was like okay yeah i'm in pulled that right just in. pulled me right in and i started this weekend um and I was like having issues like putting down my Ugh. putting down my book, which I that's love when best, that happens. Yeah. So especially on the um, beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, that was fan. That's really good. So it was two seconds for a, a book moment because mm-hmm. the dragons was making me think about it. All the dragon content, and I think they're making Fourth Wing a TV show, maybe a movie. All of them are getting adapted. I think maybe a TV show. Yes. Everything fourth wing, what we know so far about the television adapt, adaption, adaptation, sorry. A former Breaking Bad writer has been tapped as showrunner for the series. Okay. It's getting the Amazon treatment with a buzzy prime video television adapt, nice. adaptation. That's a good one. I like when prime, uh, prime video normally delivers. Mm-hmm. So that's yeah. going to be good. Okay, good. Nice. Anyway, Noah, what did you watch? Not much. Um, House of the Dragon episode seven, so I'm one behind, one behind. from the finale. Mm-hmm. But like we're saying, like, once you said you're not paying after attention. last <laughs> night, I'm like, do I even want to watch the finale? No, you have like, to. I think I will. But don't you think it's like sometimes when you get all the way to the end and you're like, it's one episode left and everybody's shitting on the last one, you're like, yeah. you gotta watch. I'm it. just like, yeah. so I'm gonna waste an hour of my life, another That's hour okay, of my though. life. I mean. Like, I don't want to, like, No, I think there's plenty of hours that are wasted in your life. One of them can be to watch the House of the Dragon We're flying on Wednesday, so maybe you could watch it. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm I'm hearing, like, there weren't even really any dragons in this finale. So it's like, what am I watching for? It sounds like they just decided season two was going to be a total, like, set-up season. It's like, this isn't Game of Thrones. Like, you got to make these seasons good. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. But I'll give that, like, a C, episode seven. Yeah. Um, I saw Twisters in How the movie was it? theater. I'm fucking dying to go to the movies. God damn it. How was it? So I went in. Did you go to 40X? No. Oh. Well, so I looked it up because I was like talking to one of my friends who we were, we were going to maybe go. And I'm like, oh, maybe we should go to 40. And he sent me like a video of like what the Mm -hmm. experience was like and it's like way more intense than you think (laughs) yeah like honestly it is last time we talked about it i know we downplayed it but i had some girls message me be like no no i went to 4d and my popcorn was flying out of my hands like the pop your popcorn (laughs) flying it's like steam and smoke yeah, coming like, out of that. It's actually I, crazier than you think. It looks really? like a roller coaster. They were like, I mean, after I a while. I see it like that. No, I know. I understand <laughs> like, like, both I, sides of it. Like, it's like, in, it's funny. And then like, after like 20 minutes, you're like, I just want to fucking yeah, watch probably, this. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I feel like it's almost one you have to go to twice. Like you have to watch, like I would probably watch it normally mm-hmm. one, like the first time. And then maybe just just for fun. just for a thrill for you go to 40x yeah. A, yeah. as the second viewing i will say that i kind of wish i did because i don't know what i was expecting well i know what i was expecting like um but i was kind of like hearing about it in the same way that i heard about like top gun too like it was like mm-hmm. summer movie everyone yeah. loves this and it was fine but i i don't even think it was close to like I, I didn't love it. I didn't love it. Yeah, I thought it was fair. good. I'll give it a B minus. Have like, you ever seen the original Twister? I think I did, like maybe like a long time ago mm-hmm. on TV, and I liked like yeah. these yeah. storm type of movies. It just was like exactly what 
I don't know. It just was very predictable in my mind. Like, I don't know. Um, that makes like sense. Like Glenn Powell, he's great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Daisy uh, Edgar enjoy, Jones is good. Enjoyable movie, but you're yeah, not enjoyable. like telling people you got to go see yeah. Twisters. At no point was I like so locked in. I'm like, right. this is just, and it's pretty much just nonstop action. And you kind of yeah. know what's going to happen. You know what's going to happen. Right, right. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, you know, like. Yeah. I'm not you don't need to spoil it. But, yeah. But I'll give it a B minus, like. But I was saying, like, if Top Gun 2 was a 10 out of 10, like, summer movie, then I was going to give this to, like, at best six, maybe like a five. Like it was a good movie, but in mm -hmm. terms of like compared, that makes to, like, sense. Yeah, I, just, I mean, I feel like just in general, like Twister and Top Gun are just two totally. Yeah, I think it's because Glenn Powell's in both. I know I was, it's yeah. a tough comparison because I mean, Top Gun Two it was, was like, in incredible. its own stratosphere, yeah, yeah. quite literally. Yeah, like so. it's not, it's not a comparable. Yeah, movie. like it's not. Yeah. Twister's like yeah. movie you throw on, like it's yeah, still on. It's cable. Not, They're playing it on cable a bunch lately right. because of a uh, of the new the movies. new one. Right, so. exactly. Did you guys ever do the Twister ride at Universal? It's more of an experience. It's more of a 4D experience. Never like experience. Going to Universal. Oh, I Twister was awesome at Universal as a kid. Is it just like a, is it a water ride? It's just, a, it's just a, you like walk in. It's basically a room you just walk into and they just there's Blows. just a storm in front of you. <laughs> just <laughs> yeah. a windy room. Like it's just like it's not really like a ride. Like you don't get on anything yeah. really. It's just like a very the storm like plays out in front of yeah. you, um, which I loved as a kid. Uh, and then. I watched the first five episodes of Gen V, which is the spinoff show of The Boys. Mm. It came out in 2023. Um, there's only one season out. But yeah, that's really good. It's really good. I didn't good. even know they made a spinoff of yeah. The Boys. Yeah, I didn't know that um, either. It's basically Who like- Who is the spinoff? Well, the spinoff is basically like uh, all the superhero superheroes who- kids who go to college so it's like college for superheroes oh, um, I like that which is actually very good because it's basically just like a college teen show but they're superheroes their but superheroes. they're in superheroes oh that's kind of sick it actually is it's kind of like Mo Monsters University esque like in that way mm. I, I would say <laughs> Monsters University well you know like they're all going to school great movie they're, <laughs> they're just a bunch of hell of a comparison <laughs> uh, animated <laughs> but it's very it's basically good basically Monsters U extremely graphic like just as graphic, if as not more than the boys, like, like extremely graphic. Oh, really? Um, mm. Like someone's dick gets blown. Oh, blown goodness off. Oh my gracious. gosh! In At college? <laughs> yeah. Freshman Damn. year, get your dick blown off. Um, it's a tough one. Yeah, but I'll give it a B tough plus. Way to like, start. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I'm enjoying this way more than this past season of the boys. Oh, so. okay. I like the premise. Are they doing more seasons of Gen I think, V? I just looked it up. I think there, there's a season two coming out next year. I think. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Um, they were teasing Sex Lives of College Girls season three. I saw that. And they were also teasing The White Lotus. Um, I saw that too. And The Last of Us, I saw. Yeah, and The Last HBO's of Us season. Like, yeah. Because now yeah, that House is... of Dragons done. Yeah, yeah they yeah. were teasing all their stuff. Yep. Um, the Thailand, The White Lotus, is, 2025. Is Secret Life back this fall? I couldn't. I, I, it was just a teaser. I don't know exactly when it's coming out. It's got to be. They finished filming that a while ago. Isn't The White Lotus usually a summer show? The White Lotus comes out 2025. Yeah, I'm it's gonna, not. Yeah, it's going to be. I'm going to guess 2025. Winter. Yeah. The winter. That would be crazy. 2025. The closest to 2025 is winter. No, it's not. 2025 starts oh, oh, in January. Oh. <laughs> so you know, I was thinking when you said, no, but you're thinking like I was thinking I, like I, December. No, 2025. no, I get what you're saying. Oh, I get oh. what you're saying. You're going all the way. I I don't. I mean, I think that'll be like. So you mean like summer twenty twenty five? Start of twenty twenty five, like the the beginning. You're of thinking month. start twenty twenty five. I'm thinking January, February, Hopefully, yeah. March. That would be fine. I thought you were saying like I'm thinking maybe March, March twenty twenty five. No, no, no. I feel like it's a, it should be in the summer. Oh, I was also just saying Secret Lives, like it's the Secret Life of the American Teenager. Yeah. It's I was gonna say Secret Lives, yeah. Renee um, Rapp's in, in this new season. She is, but it was like kind of a lesser role because she said she didn't want to act, but then but then she said she wants to act. So it was it's like what happened with Olivia Rodrigo. High she just, she just got she got too big for the show and then but then she's still in it yeah I think she's just in like the beginning right that's all yeah they... I think it's just her. she's still in it but just a lesser role yeah it doesn't really they didn't give exact yeah, they didn't give a time for any really of the shows they come right. who's like, like the biggest star in the White Lotus um it's all it's a it's a big cast yeah. I don't know I kind of forget who because I, I, I saw like the trailer it, but I, know that like, Patrick, I, I know that Patrick I know that Patrick Schwarzenegger's in it. Oh, okay. I think it's probably, um, but he's obviously. I don't think he's the star. <laughs> I just. I hope not. <laughs> no, no. I I would say it's probably uh, like some of the biggest names is probably what's his face the um, 
God, I'm like spacing on his name. He's Lucius Malfoy. Oh. Aubrey He's Plaza. A- I don't think she's back. Aubrey for, she's not back for season. Oh wait, no, three. no. I'm looking at I'm looking at past season. <laughs> you start naming Lucy. Yeah, I was like, I'll she's back for season three. <laughs> Alexandra Daddario. Yeah, um, I do wish sometimes, like I do like when they bring back familiar faces. Yeah. Um, but Jennifer Coolidge, you know, not gonna be not gonna be back for this season. Yeah, yeah they're bringing that. back the the um woman from season mm-hmm. one. Yes, they are. Yeah, it seems like Tasha Roth. Well, like giant names on here. No, it's um like w- Walton Goggins, Michelle great. Monaghan, Parker Posey, Leslie Bibb. Why am I? It's gonna be great. I keep seeing Michael Imperioli. Jason in, Isaacs. On the Jason in Isaacs. City. That's who I'm, I'm thinking. Just, of. I saw his name here for, for White Lotus. I can't stop running into him. Really? Oh, yeah. When did wow. you run into him last? A couple weeks ago. <laughs> he said but, uh, he has like a. I'm near like all the Broadway shows, and yeah. he has a Broadway show, and yeah, I just yeah. keep seeing him walking. Yeah. And he also it's has a funny, new bar. no, like Sopra- like Sopranos, it doesn't go straight Sopranos. No, no, he does for me. I, yeah. I think it's Sopranos oh. for him. Montesanti. Yeah. How what? about that? Did you that text about Bada Bang? Oh, yeah. Marty <laughs> texted me like that's the easiest question ever. Yeah, yeah. he was like, he. Was, I told him the question. He was like, "What?" I yeah, he was yeah. like, "Maybe for Italians, that... it is." I, I was like, I'm not was like paying... "How did that get mixed into the bunch of questions?" I was like, if "I." You... Just ask me what's the name of the strip club. I would not be able to tell. That's I, I, crazy. I just that like crazy. that's not like a memorable thing. To it, is. it is. It's all they the most. They, they, they never talk about. No, no, they never said like, oh, let's go to Bada Bing. They, oh, they, they say they, they say let's, let's go to go the, the Bing. Bing. I don't think it's. I I would be curious to see like how many people it, know that. Everybody, no, it is. Everybody, everybody knows it. Everybody. Everybody. Damn. I don't. Sorry, know. Sorry, I know I'm repeating myself, but it's one of those things that yeah. if you watch The Sopranos, everybody knows the name. All right. But that's okay. Just not you. Yeah. yeah. Well, now yeah. I do. You're the outlier. And now you will remember forever. Yeah. Um, right. All right. We'll get it's you like, sh- we it, should get you a t-shirt. <laughs> it's like if they asked what's like the, the name of the diner in Gilmore Girls. Like it'd be like it's literally. Mm, not, I mean not. Free, I've never but, seen Gilmore Girls. But, but like, like what's the name of the. Luke's diner. Like or, it's like. <laughs> no but like Krusty Krab. Right. SpongeBob. I feel like no, that's Krusty more comparable. Krusty way more like no. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like another one. It's the Krusty Krab. Krusty Krab's on another level. The Chill Grill, that's a raven. Yeah. yeah. Well, we did um, all those shirts. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> that's everything we watched this week. 